One of the most outstanding men of this century is an outsider to his Irish fingertips, Sean McBride. Born 79 years ago, McBride grew up in a household that was a haven of Irish nationalism and of literary figures like W.B. Yeats and Ezra Pound. When Sean was 12, his father was executed by the British for taking part in the Easter uprising. When he was 14, his mother was arrested in front of him. At 15, he joined the IRA and became a guerrilla fighter in the streets of Dublin and a gun runner for Michael Collins, whom he accompanied to London for the treaty negotiations. In 1934, he became chief of staff of the IRA. But with the oath of allegiance to the British Crown finally removed from the Irish Constitution, one war ended for Sean McBride and another began. Defending the rights of Republican prisoners, he became Ireland's most distinguished lawyer. He went on to become Irish Foreign Minister and to help draft the European Convention on Human Rights. Today, countless political prisoners throughout the world owe their lives and sanity and even their freedom to Sean McBride, founder of Amnesty International. He is the only man to hold both the Nobel Peace Prize and the Lenin Peace Prize. And his cause today is the one he considers most urgent, getting rid of nuclear weapons. It is a harsh irony that Sean McBride's own country remains at war and divided. Is, in your opinion, killing ever justified? And if so, when is it justified? Well... Because you're not a pacifist, are you? I'm not a pacifist in the traditional sense, no. Mm. I'm not a pacifist or a Quaker is a pacifist. Mm. Uh, I am a pacifist to the extent I think that violence very seldom achieves the objectives it's intended to achieve. I think there are certain tests. I think, first of all, that violence is never justified if there are alternative ways of rectifying what is an injustice. <laughs> Or the injustice you're trying, you're fighting against. If there is a peaceful way of doing it, by political action or otherwise, then violence isn't justified. Uh, secondly, I think that violence should never be in excess of what is absolutely required to change the situation. And uh, that's why I disagree with the IRA very much in, their, in, in the actions they're taking in, in Northern Ireland at the moment. I think that this could be done solved by peaceful means, number one, political action. And secondly, I think that very often the violence they indulge in is, 